Hi Leo, thank you for being here with me today, you guys. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages show up for you, what you should be aware of. Spirits, angels, guides, what does Leo need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? What do Leos need to know? The Leos watching this video, what do they need to know? You have the Ten of Pentacles, and then you have the Chariot. The Chariot is, ten, is Cancer energy. Gosh, it looks like you're just sitting at home here with the Ten of Pentacles. You're feeling pretty good at home. And someone's coming towards you here in the Chariot. Come on, let's go. Let's get to work. This is someone coming towards you. I feel like whoever this person is, they are leaving their comfort zone, Leo. The Page of Cups. I expect to re receive a message. Someone here feels like they, um, you know, like this could be a marriage. It doesn't have to be. But the Hierophant is Taurus energy. And someone here feels like they... Um, like they're trying to help you. There's an energy here of encouragement. Let me help you. Let's get to work. And they're coming in in a very kind, sweet energy here. You have the Two of Swords. The World with the Knight of Swords. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles and you have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I see someone coming towards you, Leo, with really good intentions here. All right. The Queen of Rods and the King of Rods. This could be a marriage. It doesn't have to be, but whoever the person is that's showing up with you in your reading here is part of your soul tribe. This is someone that you would consider family, a match. All right, someone here that has your back and you have their back. Tell me why the ten of you both have the same destination in mind. There's a commitment here between the two of you. The King of Pentacles, the Hermit, and which is Virgo energy, and the Eight of Swords. Whoever this person is that's showing up in your energy, Leo, they're doing a lot of thinking, okay? But they feel like they want to do something, and they want to do something good and responsible, and it could pertain to finances here or a home. So someone here is trying to do something really good, but they're going through the dark night of the soul. And so they're really, really questioning themselves and maybe the way things have gone and they want things to be better between the two of you. Tell me why the chariot is here. And this is who I see rushing in here, stepping out of their comfort zone, rushing towards you. Okay, so you have the seven of cups and you have the nine of pentacles. They're not really sure of all the answers with the seven of cups, but they feel like, okay... Um, you know, I've got enough with me alone um, without needing to take anything from Leo. I don't know. It's like they're not trying to absorb any energy from, from you, any resources from you financially or otherwise. This person is showing me that they that they want to help you it's like someone here wants to give to you or give to the both of you and they're looking at options here tell me why the eight of pentacles is here this person whoever i'm pulling up here this may be someone who um is financially stable in some way and Okay, so with the Eight of Pentacles, you got the Page of Rods, and you have the Four of Swords. Yeah, there's a bond between you and someone else here, Leo. A strong bond. This 
could be with a child or a lover, a marriage. But whoever this is, you're going to know who this is. You're thinking of them right now. They, um, they're tired. All right. They're going through the dark night of the soul. It's like they're really questioning where things have gone between the two of you. And they're trying to work out a different plan. Okay. This person, they, they could have seemed like. They weren't doing much here for a while, but um, now this person's ready to get to work. Tell me why the Page of Cups is here. Yeah, look at this. Let's make a move, Leo. Let's make a move. Let's go. Uh, they, whoever this person is with the Three of Cups... They, they want to break this news to you as this is a great celebration. Um, we're not stuck anymore. I see the bigger picture. I see how to, how to get us out of this situation. And this is Pisces energy, the hanged man. And this is a marriage or a commitment. It's right in the center of your reading. It's touching all of the other cards. I, st I see someone else here with you, Leo. If you're feeling alone, you're not alone. There's someone here with you. Some, And this is showing up as this could be a family member, all right, with the Ten of Cups. And they're looking at options. They're trying to figure out a way. They don't want to choose the wrong direction. And I'm hearing this time they want to make it right. They want to do it right. So this is someone who is trying to um, really be up in their head and make a right decision, all right? They're looking at everything. They're looking at the whole situation that you have with them. You may feel like things are a bit overwhelming right now with the Two of Swords and blindfolded. Like you may feel like you're in a situation here with this person that there's you just don't want to look at it you don't want to see it tell me why the two of swords is here how come you don't want to see it you're kind of closed off oh you may even be closed off to this move could, you could be dealing with an Aries. The fool is here. I see someone here that is struggling. All right. That strength card right there, that is your energy, Leo. But there's someone here that is struggling. All right. And they're keeping something from you. And whoever this person is, I'm seeing them acting like you know just do your own research this is aries energy but they're acting like here like they know it all all right like they've looked for the answers they're going to tell you they know it all um everything's okay if you move if you do this this is like advice but this person's actually taking some type of a risk like they feel like something's risky here Tell me why the Knight of Swords is here. But it really makes you take a look, okay? Scorpio energy is here with death. You've been running around a lot. That's why the Knight of Swords energy is here. You've been running around a lot. And it could be for this person. Um, you have Temperance as Sagittarius energy. But someone wants to fight. All right. The Seven of Wands is here. And they want to correct something. Make something right. All right. Like there's something here that you may feel bummed out on. Like you may feel like giving up. Like this is it. I just need to make the best of what is. And whoever this person is that's showing up here with you. Um, they do give you. Here when I look into the future energy. They do give you this hope. Alright. 
because I see someone here who's really fired up. Like, let's do this. And it has to do with making some type of move. And someone here is dealing with an Aries. Doesn't have to be. This can be a father. But there's someone here that I feel like is in a position of power in some way. Like, this is the father of the deck. Tell me why the Ace of Pentacles is here. The Emperor. See, it's them. The Ten of Wands and the Fool. You carry some type of burden with this person. You either carry it with them or they're on the outside looking at you, seeing you carrying something that's heavy, that's difficult on you. And um, they want to see things be better for you. They want to see you be able to let go of it. And this person is coming in in the most sincerest heart. I really see someone here that is, you know, has a sincere heart. The next card you have is the Nine of Swords. There's a situation here with all of this weight that you're carrying around. There's a reason why you're carrying this around. All right. There's a purpose. There's a reason why you feel responsible to carry all of this around. And I don't know what it is. It's going to be different for all of you guys. But this is why the Nine of Swords shows up. Because you feel like, you feel very worried here about letting go and trusting. All right, but you're not alone. Do you see how the hands are tied together? That's a different hand than yours. There's one hand, it's bigger than the other hand. <coughs> Tell me why, oh yeah, this comes from love. There's no doubt in my mind, the energy that I'm picking up here loves you. Like this energy is kind of, feels like their back is against the wall. They feel like they can't fix, the, they feel like it's an impossible situation. Their back's against the wall, but they are manifesting. It is actually their wish fulfillment to have your heart full of joy and happiness. This is a beautiful reading, Leo. Whoever this is that you have with you, whoever this companion is, um, all I can say is this is me and you against the world. We can, we can fight anything. Together we can we can make anything happen. We've done it before. We'll do it again. Tell me why the Queen of Rods and the King of Rods are here. If we, oh, wow, guys. Leo energy with the sun. That's you. And spirits are telling you the advice of the Nine of Wands is keep going. Don't give up yet. All right, you're the wounded warrior here, and you're looking at the sun, which is the happiest card in the tarot deck. And that's what I'm getting is you facing someone here. And sometimes the energy that I'm looking at can can represent a child, but it doesn't have to be. But it's me against the world, and with the sun here, everything's going to work out. Whatever this difficult situation is where you're kind of, it may not even be affecting you that much because I see you blindfolding yourself and just thinking this is just the way it is. You know, it's like you've kind of come to some type of an acceptance of this is just the way it is. Someone else, it, you have their full attention. There's no doubt in my mind, Leo. You have someone's full attention, okay? Let's grab um, an elephant card. Let's 
Let's see what shows up. Sea lion. And of course, the lion comes out because you guys are the lion. Life always presents me with the best opportunities as I focus on my joy of living. I live an abundant life and it feels easy and natural. I am fulfilling my life purpose. I am destined for a peaceful and joyful time on earth. And this is harmony. I feel like you guys are making, you know, as long as you have something here that you love and that you cherish, you're okay. Even if there's rumbling around you, even if everything's not perfect, as long as you feel the, the love around you from the people that you care about, the animals that you care about, um, everything else can just be even though you want the best for all of it you're trying your best to do everything that you can and someone here is completely and totally focused on you leo you are not alone and everything will work out for the two of you all right i love you and i'll see you guys later namaste